Hey folks, if you'd like to support me or this channel, Moose University, in creating more video tutorials, then please consider making a financial contribution at my website, MoofUniversity.com. Thanks and enjoy the video. So in the last video we talked about glycerophospholipids, and those glycerophospholipids that we talked about had ester linkages, but there are some that have ether linkage as a ether linkages as opposed to these ester linkages. So the ester linkage I'm talking about is right here, for instance, between um, the second carbon of the glycerol backbone and this acyl group, this fatty acyl group, uh, that's the ester linkage there. But what if there is an ether linkage? Ethers, as you may or may not know, look like this. They're basically the the carbon analogs of water, right? Water looks like this, right? Its bent structure looks like that. So if you replace those hydrogens with carbon chains, you have what's called an ether, an ether functional group. So that's what's going on up here. We have an ether linkage. We have the carbon of the glycerol backbone and the carbon of some R group. Okay? And of course, the rest remains the same. We saw the phosphate group and some alcohol. But this is a glycerol phospholipid with an ether linkage instead of an ester linkage. Now there are two examples that I want to talk about. There are these things called plasmologens, and then there's uh, the specific uh, glycerol phospholipid with an, with an ether linkage called platelet acti activating factor that I'll get to in a moment. So plasmologens look like this. They're characterized by having a carbon-carbon double bond between carbon A and carbon B, which are basically the first two carbons on the ether R group. So if we think about um, the, the, the R group up here from the ether, these first two carbons, carbon A and carbon B, are the first two carbons of that R group. So if that's a double bond there, that's one of the characteristics of a plasmologen. That's one thing. The other thing is that there is a um, uh, an ester linkage on carbon 2. So if we have a double bond between the first two carbons of the R group on, um, up here from the ether linkage and an ester linkage on the second, the second group, then we have what's called a plasmologen. Okay. Now plasmologens actually uh, play a role in fighting against reactive oxygen species, which can go through and uh, oxidize and damage biological molecules. So plasmologens play a role in fighting, fighting off against those. Um, and they're also important in signaling as signaling molecules. But that sort of idea is not really well understood. So I, I really don't know too much about that. But I mainly meant, but brought this up because it's an example of a glycerophospholipid with an ether linkage. And it has a specific definition, right? Having that double bond there and having this ester bond here. Now, there is this thing, there's a molecule called platelet activating factor, which has an R group that has 16 carbons here. So that's a 16 carbon chain in the, oops, 16 carbon chain in the ether linkage. And then there's specifically an acetyl ester here, right? This is an acetyl group here. It's an acetyl ester linkage. And over here, this, the alcohol that's attached is actually choline. This specific glycerophospholipid with this ether linkage, right, let me just point out the ether linkage specifically in both of these cases, that ether linkage, that ether linkage, um, this specific glycerophospholipid with this ether linkage is called platelet activating factor. And this molecule is actually fairly well understood. It stimulates platelet aggregation, which basically is, in, in platelets are involved in uh, clotting, blood clotting. And this thing is involved in, um, in the inflammatory response, response and the allergic response. So this molecule is important um, in, in when it comes to inflammation and when it comes to allergies. So this thing is actually um, a, a glycerol phospholipid with an ether linkage that's actually fairly well understood. I really just wanted to bring this up as examples because of this distinction with, of these ether linkages. So I hope that was at least somewhat interesting. Uh, thank you for watching. Yo, if you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more content. And if you know anybody who might find the videos helpful, then please share it with them. Thanks. Happy studying.